clear mucus discharge after ovulation. Discharge during ovulation. Vaginal discharge during ovulation is clearer than it is anything else. This discharge becomes watery to allow sperm to flow through the cervix with ease, but it's also very elastic. This elasticity allows sperm to flow through the cervix and fills in any crevices where sperm may get stuck along the way. Discharge can be seen as strands or small ropes where the sperm is allowed to flow. Ovulation occurs around 14 days after the first day of your last menstrual period. This will be when the discharge is at its highest level, and it will change rapidly over the first two weeks after menstruation starts. The ovary will release an egg right in the middle of your cycle and vaginal discharge will also increase. Discharge after ovulation Discharge after ovulation doesn't mean that you're necessarily pregnant. The cervix does not completely dry up at his time. Instead, it will be going through different cycles or stages depending on the amount of estrogen in the body. If implantation has occurred and you have conceived a child, your discharge will remain. The mucus will increase as the body produces more estrogen and progesterone. A good way to test this is to monitor your mucus texture and appearance, and then check it after you've had intercourse. Be sure to allow a few days in between. This is when you'll be able to see if the thick white discharge is still present. A pregnancy test would be the next logical step to determine pregnancy because cervical mucus after ovulation isn't as accurate as a pregnancy test. Your cervical mucus stages can tell you a lot about your current menstrual cycle and what's occurring inside of your body. While not 100% accurate when predicting ovulation or conception, you can monitor and use your body's natural mucus changes to predict when ovulation will occur and use it as a possible implantation indicator. indicator.